Steve, we have some new polling this morning with less than a month to go until our state's primary election. One of the biggest races is for U.S. Senate, where 18 candidates are hoping to advance to the general election this fall. Democratic Senator Patty Murray seeking a sixth term in Congress. Tiffany Smiley receiving a lot of attention on the Republican side. We wanted to know in our poll of Washingtonians, if you voted today, which candidates would you choose? Here are the results brand new this morning. Senator Murray leading handily in this poll, 51% of voters. Smiley, 33%, and 16% of voters say they're still undecided. And now let's take a closer look into who is supporting each candidate. Looking at gender, Murray has a two-point advantage with men, but a whopping 34-point advantage with women. Geography does make a difference in the poll. Smiley closes the gap considerably in eastern Washington, 40% of the vote there. Still five points behind Murray, but Smiley's support in western Washington, just 33%, only 30% in the urban core of Seattle. For a look at what this all means, we want to check in now with our King 5 political analysts, including Gary Locke, who is a former governor of Washington, U.S. Commerce Secretary, and U.S. Ambassador to China. And Scott McClellan served as White House Press Secretary during the George W. Bush administration. We asked them about the 18-point gap between Murray and Smiley. Uh, obviously, uh, she, uh, Patty Murray will win the Democratic primary and Smiley will win on the Republican side. But there's a lot that can happen between now and November in terms of the economy, uh, what's happening in terms of uh, uh, inflation and the prices of everyday goods. Well, it's a significant gap for Smiley to try to make up in a short amount of time. Uh, she's a political novice, first time candidate, and I think it's a reflection that she is just not well known to be pulling that low. King 5, the Seattle Times, the University of Washington Center for an Informed Public, and WSU's Murrow College of Communication commissioned this poll. Tomorrow, we're asking Washington residents about banning assault weapons. We talk with a local gun shop about how a ban could affect business, and we also take a look at who is in favor and who is against an assault weapons ban.